Many years ago, I made a video. I believe this would have been 2010. Uh, just kind of my thoughts about sustainability and climate change and, and that religion and then the, the truth about it, uh, the truth as I see it. And so uh, I just now found it, and I don't think I'd ever released it. So here you go. Here's a little flashback. Uh, let me know what you think of it. popular one right now. Uh, it certainly wasn't as popular 100 years ago, but right now that's a, that's a question that everyone's interested in. I, I wouldn't call myself green. I think that many of the things that I do are good for the environment or at least don't harm the environment, but that's not a, a religious focus. And, and that's kind of how I, I that's kind of divide environmentalists up. There are scientific environmentalists and there are religious environmentalists and kind of self-explanatory, but the religious environmentalist wants to recycle, even if it doesn't make sense. If it takes way more energy and hurts the environment to recycle, but you can still call it recycling, they'll do it. The economic uh, environmentalist says, huh, you know what? It's uh, It makes more sense to recycle aluminum uh, than it does to recycle paper. So I'm not going to recycle paper, but I am going to recycle aluminum. And here are the facts. Here are the, here are the studies. Here, here's the science behind it. Uh, that kind of environmentalist, yes, I think I am. Uh, I think that frugality is often uh, runs parallel to environmentalism, and it and it's not a purposeful thing that a uh, a person thinks of a frugal, a miserly person. Uh, however, quite often uh, the person that uses the newspaper doesn't throw it away, but uses the newspaper to line the bird cage or to be a fire starter. Uh, well, that's that's recycling. Uh, the person who uh, wants to needs a bucket, and rather than going and buying a new bucket, finds an old one and uses it. That that makes sense. A coffee can with a lid. Yeah, don't throw it away. Use it again. A spaghetti jar. Keep your uh, nails or your screws in it uh, with the lid. Uh, screw the lid onto a board and, and do the little twisty. Uh, yeah, that that all makes great sense. There's uh, that's just smart. But to to have a lower quality of living or, or a less healthy lifestyle or does it expend lots of energy, lots of, lots of time, lots of money on a chic project like recycling paper or having 13 different recycling containers for all of the different uh, items that we're supposed to recycle if we're good citizens. It just doesn't make sense. Uh, global warming. Yeah, I think, uh, just about any time you come out of an ice age, you're going to have to warm up some. Uh, is it good or bad? I, I don't think it is good or bad. I think it's it's what's happening. Uh, you know, if we discover that people are uh, on the average four inches taller now than they were 150 years ago, is that good or bad? And neither. It's just you know, nature's uh, it, it flows. It goes up and down, and and. The earth is going to warm and then it's going to cool and then there are going to be a bunch of storms and then there aren't. And uh, do I think that man has caused global warming to a measurable degree? Of course not. The science doesn't support it. Uh, you, you know, in a, in a world where most grants for scientific study come from the government, most of the funding, and the people that do these uh, these studies have gone to schools that are accredited by the government after they've gone to 12 years of government schools and then they're given money by the government to go to another government run or uh, at least partially run educational facility I, to, to think that all of the studies that are done about chic items like recycling or global warming or anything else for that matter, to completely trust them without first looking where the, from whence the money comes, I, I think that is a, a bit naive. Uh, perhaps, perhaps we've had an impact on the globe, uh, the global temperature. I, I don't think so, uh, but perhaps does that mean we should stop our our current way of of living? No. Um, not really. Uh, that's it is just part of the cycle. Uh, should cows stop eating what they eat if it if if it makes them expel air? 
No, it's it's part of it. Uh, we shouldn't be messing with nature. Uh, we're part of nature, and don't mess with it. Let it flow. If the globe gets a lot warmer, we're going to have you know way more species. Uh, and of course, warmth creates growth in the natural world. There will be more plant types, more animals. Uh, there there will be issues. Yeah, people will have to move from one place to another. That's yeah, you bet. Um, Will the uh, the people in one region still be able to focus on the industry they always have? You know, probably not 2,000 years from now. Uh, and then another 30,000 years from then, they'll probably be cold again. And uh, I, yeah, I'm, I'm not that worried about it. I think we should use our common sense. We should, you know, not be jerks. I, I, I like walking through pretty woods, so I don't throw my candy wrappers in the woods. Matter of fact, if I see one, I pick it up. Um, that, but that's just part of the whole taking personal responsibility and chipping in and staying busy and doing good stuff and, and, you know, trying to have a nice environment. That's not uh, not a political thing. That's just that's how I reared my children. That's how I was reared. That's, that's just being good people. I don't think that has anything to do with it. Well, hopefully that was interesting to you to see what, uh, what I was thinking 13 years ago. Holy moly, time has flown. Hey, if, uh, if, if that was a value to you, I'd sure love it if you'd subscribe, share it with a friend, give a thumbs up. Uh, that'd sure mean a ton. Thanks. <laughs>